Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, too. Congratulations on this. Thank you. I mean, just walking in to see you to talk to you about this put me in a good mood. I think that's a testament to I the I love film. that. I love that. I hope that this movie gets people feeling good for a long time. Like, I'm sure the world needed it at the time you conceived doing this movie, but now that it's dropping more than ever, we need this movie. It does feel like it's coming at the right time. For whatever that's worth, I think things happen when they're meant to happen. If Fred was around to uh, have been a collaborative part or even a force on the set of this movie, what do you think he would have been saying? What do you think his attitude would have been about all of this? Well, I got to spend a lot of time with his wife, Joanne, sure. so I do feel like I kind of have a sense of how he would have been, and I think he would have probably been in awe at how much work the whole thing was and acknowledged how much work we were doing and made us feel like we were doing a good job because I think that was how he tended to treat people. You know, as I started to ask that question, suddenly it, it dawned on me, Fred probably was around. Fred was definitely we embedded felt, in every nuance of this. We felt that way. You know, we were filming in Pittsburgh in his hometown, sure. in the studio where he actually filmed the show. We had every tie that Tom Hanks is wearing was a real Mr. Rogers tie that his wife let us take out of his closet. You know, we felt the reverberations of Fred everywhere we went. What I love about your take on this is that you didn't put Tom Hanks through countless hours of prosthetic makeups to no. try to make him absolutely pull it off. It was a philosophical point of view. What we needed was the essence of Fred. We needed his emotional heart to be right. We needed what was happening behind the eyes to be right. It wasn't about every gesture being perfect or it being a perfect impersonation because if we were watching the work of that, it would separate us from him. It was about getting us as close to the real, to Fred as possible, a very intimate portrait. And one of the moments I think you do that the best, one of my favorite moments of the film, and I know this is a nuanced thing to point out, but there's a moment where he's doing some of the puppetry and you are backstage and you push in on a fairly tight shot of he Tom. Didn't, he, it didn't was know I, he didn't know I was filming. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He's puppeting Daniel Tiger, and I made him do everything live. So sure. he's actually puppeting, singing live. Right. Looking at a little monitor that's showing what the puppet is doing. So he's behind the clock puppeting Daniel Tiger. And he knew he was maybe going to be seen for a second, but he didn't know I was going to push the camera in on him, which we were zooming in so he couldn't <laughs> yeah. feel it. It was just the lens was zooming in. And he's concentrating so hard on the actual puppeteering. And it's an incredible moment. You're watching him sing as Fred and puppeteer and work so hard. And he realized how hard Fred's job really was, too. What I love about you being a part of this, your head's sort of been in this space since you were a child. You were doing children's theater. I was like, doing like children's what, theater. What from Winnie the Pooh at the age of six <laughs> did you bring to the table for a beautiful day in the neighborhood? You know, it does all feel connected. I think there's something about um, entertainment for children and what it can do. You know, I have a little child who's almost five years old. We read Winnie the Pooh these days all the time. Um, there's something so pure about those types of entertainment that I really, truly love. And the thing about Fred's message is it, it was for kids, but it's, he has something to say that we all need, too, even as adults. Amen. Only a nice person could have brought this to life. Thank That's you. you. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you. Great Cheers. to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Thanks, guys.